Hi, Martin here. Uh, I got an insulation blower here. This is for cellulose insulation that I picked up on uh, Craigslist for a hundred bucks. And it works really good. At one time, it used to be operated by remote control. And this thing's like a pre-1997. Well, that's all broke now and you just operate it manually with on and off switches. Well, when you're at the blower end of this cellulose machine, you want to be able to control the, the, that end of it, be able to shut it on and off. What I found was these wireless remote controls. I got them on uh, Amazon, and they're very easy to hook up, and you could put this on all kinds of stuff, on lighting, uh, you know, this blower, Maybe you operate in a pool pump because it will these will handle 30 amps is what they're rated for All right. Well, let me show you what I got here. So let's get started Now I got two of them on here one for the blower and one for the actuator as well and I don't necessarily need one for the actuator, but um, For the person operating this at least they don't have to reach way down here to shut it off uh, I may even uh, attach one up here, just take some double face tape. And by the way, they come with these keyless, two of them, keyless remotes. Just looks like a, uh, a key fob for your car, right? And it's uh, claiming a 100 meter range that's, uh, you know, unobstructed. And so far, it's been working great. Um, probably been working at around 70 feet so far and it works every time. And so I got this one here labeled blower. It's got a small antenna on it. Uh, some of the tools you might need. I like this uh, Thomas and Betts crimper and cutter. This is probably the best crimper you're gonna get for insulated terminals. You're gonna wanna get maybe uh, you know these the yellow and the blue fork type terminals and they'll fit right under here. Okay, it's really easy to hook up. Make sure, there we go. Get the power unplugged, I don't want to get shocked. And it's got this cover on here, so it's gonna protect you from, you know, when the, because this is gonna be your live side here, your line side, the input voltage. And this is your output to your appliance. In this case, it's going to the blower of the, of the cellulose machine. And all you gotta do it uh, tells you right here, this, there's a small little L. That's your line, your N. On there is your neutral. And then again, line side. And, or actually this would be the load side. And then your neutral here. So, we got your black wire, your white wire, your black wire, your white wire. And then you just simply crimp on the terminals. Loosen these screws, slide it underneath, and tighten it. Then with the ground, all you got to do is put those two together with a wire nut, and then I tape the two cords together right there. Now what I first did is get one just for the blower, tried it out, worked flawlessly, liked it so much I found another one. I um, actually paid like uh, $23 or $24 for this one with the two keyless fobs. And then on the second one, I did a little bit more shopping, Found this one a uh, few dollars cheaper. I think it was right at $17. And it works just as well. I'll put links down in the description below where you can do all your Amazon shopping, by the way. That helps out the channel. Appreciate it. All right, let's uh, give this a try. Okay, and then I labeled the remotes on the back side so I know which one's which. Okay, we're just going to turn on the actuator here. Works great there. I'm gonna turn on the blower for just a second. Uh, they're kind of noisy, and I don't want a bunch of cellulose to go flying in the shop here. Because this hopper is pretty much full. There you go. Yeah, I can still see the cellulose flying down this hose. <laughs> All right, there you have it. 
So if you've got some kind of appliance you want to remotely control or lighting, and it takes a lot of amps, you know, you want something probably more than just LED lights, right? And this will should do it. Uh, in the description, it may say it handles 40 amps, but then when I got it, it says 30 amps. And that would probably be a closer description, is an actual 30 amp load. Um, I wouldn't run any more than that on this. And this, these will also handle 240 as well. Um, I'm a little confused on the wiring diagram that they give you. Uh, I'm saying you would run both your hots here and then leave with both hots. Even though it doesn't really show it that way, I mean, there is no neutral in 240 volts. You got two hots and a ground. So run both your hots here and then your load side hots leaving. So they can do 240 as well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I hope this helps you out. Uh, been working great for me. Uh, been blowing insulation into my new shop here, and it's a lot of work, but uh, getting it there. All right, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.